YouTube. So today I am going to be talking about how much I spent exactly on my three and a half month long cross country road trip. I camped almost the whole time. I slept in my tiny Honda Fit in the back. I stuck in a little foam pad back there and just camped out along the way. And I know a lot of people are like, especially with COVID going on, like how much exactly does a cross country road trip cost? I will get into it for you and where I could have done better on saving costs and cutting costs down. So don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know down in the comments if you want to see more videos like this and let's get into the video. All right, y'all. Okay. So first I will start off with gas, the breakdown on that one. So I do have a Honda Fit, so it's very um, fuel efficient. If you're gonna have a truck or like a Jeep, it's gonna cost so much more. Um, I get very, very good gas mileage. So this actually surprised me when I broke down the costs for gas. Um, I thought it'd be a lot more, but over those three and a half months, I did around 15,000 miles. That is a lot on a car. Um, but I only spent $839 on gas, which, I thought I would be like in the thousands, um, so that surprised me a lot. So if you have a fuel efficient car, it's really not going to cost that much. I mean for three and a half months, if you think about um, like how much you pay for rent and stuff, like I slept in my car. So if you're paying like over a thousand dollars for rent a month and you want to like live in your car or something it's so and just travel cross country, it's so much more cost effective. Um, and then, so this is where I will get into hotels. So along with um, camping in my car, there were periods of time where like I was on my period or I was just like really tired of sleeping in my tiny car. So I would splurge a little bit and get a hotel or a KOA. And some when I first started my road trip, um, I did this road trip this past summer when COVID was going on. So a lot of campsites were actually closed down in like New Mexico, um, which I didn't, and I would get there, I would find out that all the campsites I went to are closed. And so I'd be kind of stuck at night, like, oh, like, where do I go? So I would just go to a hotel. Um, I did that because I was a female and alone and I just wanted to feel safe like there was a time where I did sleep on the side like I pulled off the highway I found a little um, gravel path that we're out west they have a lot of like pull-offs for people that are camping in their cars to just pull off and sleep um, so I did do that later on but I definitely felt more safe starting out because I had never um, got on a road trip by myself. I had never camped by myself before. So in the beginning, I was a little bit more cautious about doing that. So I did stay at a hotel um, a little bit more than I wanted to. So my hotel costs altogether were $1,000, 157. So 1,157. Um, so definitely that cost would be gone, right? If you just stayed camping in your car the whole time but I needed a break sometimes or I felt like I was stuck in a situation where I needed to go to a hotel because I didn't feel safe sleeping in my car in the surroundings I was at. Um, and then more costs along the sleeping side, um, you have to pay for campsites and to get into parks. I, do, I did buy the park pass, so that was only $80, but campsites, um, cost around $800 as well but again if I took out the hotel costs around $900 for gas and around $800 for campsites that's $1,700 for three and a half months like that is very good I feel like so that's basically almost $500 a month um, is what gas and campsites would come out to which is not a bad price at all now I did eat out a lot at restaurants when I was traveling. I did pack a cooler, but then it was so hot out this summer that like I got a cooler that's supposed to last, like have ice last for like three days, but it was so hot 
that it would melt in like a day and I got tired of buying ice so often. Um, so I either did a lot of canned food or I would eat out at restaurants. And so I definitely could have caught this cost down if I was better prepared food wise. Um, but I spent $1,500 on food at restaurants. Now, um, to get prepared for this road trip, I spent $1,600 um, at Amazon. Like, um, I bought a tent to put on the back of my car, I bought like a shovel, poop bags, a cooler, um, stuff like that. Like, just kind of essentials you need for camping so long. Um, so that did equal, and I bought a ham, or um, a blow up kayak, which I didn't need, and that one was like around $900. So that definitely took up a lot of the cost, but altogether it was around $1,600 just for essentials um, for preparing for my road trip. And then, excursions such as I went skydiving, I did um, uh, rock wall climbing in a gorge in Colorado, that was really cool. So excursions cost around $514 on my road trip. And that is all. So together, let's calculate that up. We got 514 from excursions. We got 1600 from Amazon. We got 1500 from restaurants. Campsites, 1800 or 800 um hotels i'll just round that up to 1200 and then gas around 900. so all together my road trip cost me six thousand five hundred and fourteen dollars um that is a lot definitely for um three and a half months so if you divide that by three and a half that's 1800 okay so it's $1,861 um, averaged out per month that you're spending on the road trip which obviously if like you're going um, to a hotel or a resort like you're splurging that much anyway um, so you just kind of gotta like there's definitely like places I could have cut down extremely like if you get I didn't really go in with a budget, which I probably should have because I spent way too much on like restaurants and hotels, but I definitely could have cut that down way more. Um, so let's see if I took out hotel costs and cut down restaurants, what that would be. So if I cut out hotel and I limited my restaurants, um, it would have been $1,200 a month, which ain't a bad deal, you know? three and a half month long road trip where you're gone constantly. Um, I think it's, it's not, it's expensive, but it's definitely, you can make it as cost effective um, as you want. Cause there's definitely a lot of places you can cut costs. Um, you can even find free places to sleep. A lot of times I did campsites. So that was around like $20 a night. Um, $10 a night depending on where you go but there's definitely like there's a website where you can find free places to camp um so yeah that definitely would have cut down my costs as well um I was new at this so you definitely kind of if you're this is the first time you're doing it um you definitely should do, I, I, went, <laughs> I went into it without doing any research. I was like, I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna wing it. Um, that definitely, it was, I loved doing that, not having a timeline um, and just kind of going on the fly, but also it was a negative in the way where I could have saved a lot more costs if I had done my research beforehand. So you just kind of gotta, you know, know your priorities. Um, but this road trip was like the best experience I had ever had in my life. Um, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. And if you wanna know any more tips or tricks or where to go, um, let me know down in the comments. And yeah, that's it for this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.